Hi friends. Today's book takes place in a jungle. So I turned my room into a jungle so I could read there too. Today's book is called Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. Where the Wild Things Are. Stories and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. He looks kind of unhappy that he was sent to bed with no food. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. His room is turning into a forest. Do you see all the trees? And grew. There are even more trees and plants now and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. There's Max on his boat. Here's his name, M-A-X. Max. In and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. <gasps> There's a wild thing. Looks like it has claws and horns and it's looking at Max. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tamed them with a magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. They were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all wild things. So now that Max is the king, he has a crown and a scepter. That's what this is called. It's kind of like a wand. And now cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. They're dancing, they're having their wild rumpus. I see them putting their arms and their feet in the air and they're jumping and growling. I wonder what your wild rumpus dance looks like. They're swinging from trees. And Max is riding on this one's back. They're smiling. I think they're enjoying the wild rumpus. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Max looks sad now. He wants to go home. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. Goodbye, wild things. 
and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. Look, his mom brought his food to him. He didn't really go to bed without any supper. And it was still hot. The end. Thanks for listening to that book, friends. See you next time.